part of MIT School of Science, the Department of Earth, Atmospheric and Planetary Sciences is a diverse and dynamic community of faculty, students and staff, driven by a commitment to understanding the processes that shape our planet and addressing real-world problems humanity is facing today. In the Earth Sciences, the scope of what is done in our department is so broad. It goes from the center of the Earth to the surface of the Earth, to the oceans, to the atmospheres, to outer space, to other solar systems. I work on exoplanets, planets that orbit stars other than our sun. EAPS is unique because people not only work in very different areas from each other, but they also are willing to come together and to work on the boundaries of different fields. We have a banner on the wall of our building that says, unleash your natural curiosity. That banner uh, describes pretty well uh, what we do here. I've always been curious about the natural world. The ability to understand pieces of the puzzle of this fantastic Earth that we all inhabit, that is really exciting. I think what sets us apart from other programs is the fact that we combine the solid Earth sciences with planetary science and with meteorology and oceanography. A lot of the interesting research that goes on is sort of at the boundaries of what used to be considered separate disciplines. I would call myself an Earth historian. I'm interested in figuring out what happened over Earth history over four billion years ago to present day climate change. Lots of people here are working on cutting edge problems. The work that I'm doing uh, right now is really exciting because it's uh, at the junction of risks from earthquakes and uh, risks from running out of energy. I study earthquake. Although we don't necessarily need to predict when the earthquake happens, what we really want to do is be able to predict what the ground motions, what the shaking would look like when this earthquake does occur. I'm a geobiologist. I study microbial processes and their influence on uh, the environment over geologic history. Nowadays, geobiologists are very interested in the rise of oxygen in the Earth's atmosphere. They don't have the tools to answer that question, but I do. You know, we can often do pretty wonderful things together. The most unique thing about this department is the people, and in particular, the students are just absolutely awesome. I first came to MIT as an undergrad, and I really was just interested in understanding how all things work, and so I was really drawn to mechanical engineering, and then I took some um, some classes and seminars in EAPS, and I just, I fell in love with it. Everything around me, I could think about it in a whole new way. Students are really encouraged to follow their interests. Like the meteorites I'm working on, no one has ever looked at the remnant magnetization of these meteorites before. Whatever happens, it's going to be a new discovery. Well, I get to probe the ancient past um, of the Earth and of the solar system. I get to look at rocks that formed before even the Earth existed. I get to be the first person to understand what caused the Earth to form, what caused other planetary bodies in our solar system to form. Prior to the current research that I'm working on, I was a science lead on REXIS. The student design led and built X-ray imaging spectrometer that's being developed here at MIT for NASA's OSIRIS-REx asteroid sample return mission and it's an opportunity that's really unique to our department. I'm looking at hurricanes and the hurricane record, which is just so relevant. It's, it's such an important policy question and also a science question. So climate science is a real frontier area. It is a great thing to pursue here in EAPS. So we think that if we put good scientists that are driven by curiosity in a place together, that we can make good progress on this issue of climate. In the decades to come, mankind is going to be forced to make a lot of very difficult decisions about the future of our planet. And we are going to desperately need trusted advisors to help us through those decisions. That's why I think supporting graduate fellowships is so important, because it attracts the best and brightest to our field, as well as to our department, and also gives them the freedom to work on the cutting edge research we're going to need to help us make wise decisions in the future. And what better place than MIT to provide those trusted advisors? The Department of Earth, Atmospheric and Planetary Sciences is driven by a commitment to make a difference. We hope you will also unleash your natural curiosity and join us on our exciting journey to understand the planet we live on and find the solutions for tomorrow.